Let's talk about latency. Has your DJ software ever felt off? Do you suffer from audio dropouts or glitches? Well, chances are you're dealing with latency issues. Today, we're gonna to talk about what latency is, how to tweak it, and why hardware matters. Let's get into it. So latency is the delay between triggering a command and hearing the result. Think about when you press the play button or you hit the cue button to stutter. The time in between the button press and the software response is what latency is. Latency really matters, especially if you're mixing or scratching. Latency happens because your computer or standalone unit needs time to think about what you want it to do. It has to process the incoming audio signal or effects or any pitch adjustments, and then output all of that to your controller or audio interface. Using advanced features like stems will use more processing power, thus creating latency. This all matters because as a DJ, having any delay on your input device can cause serious performance issues. Imagine making a pitch adjustment and having to wait like a second for it to actually adjust. Whack. That sounds like an absolute nightmare. You want any adjustments to happen in real time and having low latency is the only way to do it. Keep in mind that a small amount of latency is inevitable because your hardware needs time to process all the information that it's getting. So what causes latency? Well, here are some of the common culprits. Starting with buffer size. The buffer is a temporary storage area where your computer holds audio data before it processes it. A smaller buffer size results in lower latency, meaning the delay between your actions and the sound you hear is reduced. This does put a much higher strain on your CPU though, so just keep that in mind. A larger buffer size on the other hand results in more latency, but a lot less CPU usage. Think of it this way. If your computer's working too hard, you're gonna hear audio stutters. To fix that, you make the buffer size bigger, giving it a break. But if you have a high performance computer, you can actually lower the buffer size to give you a much snappier response. Basically, the better the computer, the better your latency can be. Buffer size directly affects CPU usage. High CPU usage on its own is a contributing factor to latency. If you're running multiple programs at one time, using multiple effects at one time, or using real-time stem separation, you're really taxing your system. This can cause latency as well. And our final culprit is outdated drivers or firmware. There is a good reason why manufacturers spend time updating drivers and firmware. Issues like latency can sometimes be resolved with just a quick update of a driver or firmware. Outdated audio drivers might not properly communicate with your audio interface, thus causing latency. I made a video talking about all the reasons why you should update your stuff and it's right here. If you're experiencing latency with your software, there are some things to try before you throw your laptop across the room. For starters, most if not all DJ programs have the ability to adjust buffer size in their audio settings. Just go to your settings and look under the audio tab and I guarantee you'll find something about buffer size in that audio tab. Unless of course you're using DJ Pro because DJ Pro handles all the latency stuff for you. Yes! For my Windows users, this might be in the control panel for your device's ASIO driver. Remember, ASIO drivers are your best friend on Windows for keeping latency down. Next up is make sure you kill any background processes or programs that are absolutely not necessary when you're performing as a DJ. Make sure that your drivers and firmware are current and up to date and go into your power settings and make sure that your power settings are set for high performance. And the last step is try a different USB cable. Not every USB cable is built the same and a cheap USB cable can cause latency issues. Make sure you're using quality USB cables like the kind you would find at DJ Tech Tools, they're chroma cables, they are absolutely amazing. One of the easiest things you can do to make sure you don't experience latency issues is to make sure that your laptop that you DJ with is up to par. And when I say up to par, I mean it needs to meet or exceed the software's minimum system requirements or better. Remember, everything you do with your DJ software uses resources. My personal recommendation is buy the highest performing laptop that you can afford. If your laptop isn't a high performance laptop, there is a really good chance that you're gonna suffer some latency issues. Remember, you can never have too much power. Plus, it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So viewers, they leave it to you. Have you ever suffered any latency issues? What fixed it for you? Leave it in the comments. As always, if you made it to the end of this video, I'd like to say thank you so much for watching. If you found anything valuable in the content, please subscribe to the channel. We have a ton of videos going over the tech that we use as DJs with a lot more coming down the pipeline. My name is Seth, AKA DJ Seth V. This is DJ Tech Tips. Thank you for watching and we out.